And we are going to be starting this series. I love this game to death. I mean, mwah, masterpiece. 10 out of 10. So let's. It took me so long to set it up to where I've never been. To, I got to a part where I've never heard before. Alright, so let's start this. Um, let's start from Patrol. Okay. Uh, no, I do not. Because that's a good part of the story. So we're going to be doing the first three cases all in one video since they're pretty darn short. I might do the fourth. I'm not sure. But later on we won't be able to. Okay. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city. Based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. The symbol of freedom and vitality. overlooked by his neighbors. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. The city of opportunists. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. City of Pioneers. Ooh, Hollywood land. Ooh. I can't say I love this music. I can dance to it. The City of Dreamers. City of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. some good graphics right there. <laughs> Not as best as PC, but good graphics. Okay, so what the interesting twist about this game is... In the Marine Corps, oh. you deal with the chain of command. Stupid Mistakes get scenes. made, but you deal with them. You know what you're... Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Alright. I forgot about subtitles. Sorry, guys. <laughs> but what I'm saying is the twist about this game... Well, I guess it's just a plot line... Um, is that you're a detective in the 1940s and you have to go around and solve crimes. But it's much more than that, trust me. But um, something else is that this game used motion scan. And motion scan is basically, yeah, you'll see. Look, just look at their face, okay? Okay, you might recognize some of these actors. The same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path or whether it's your partner. Or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. Whoa, look out! Ah! I'm the worst driver, apparently. Wait. Here we are. Music. There's Courtner. Courtner. Floyd Rose, homicide. You might back up. 
Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got places here. to be. Happy hunting. Okay, I think I can actually show my face cam now. I'm not sure this if I said earlier. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your okay. way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. I will turn the voices off. Two heads are always better than one. Shut up! Okay, thank you, finally. Okay, but, um, as you can see, the, fo the facial expressions are on point. Look at really this, John. Good. Okay, um, seems like there's something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there is, this is the 1940s, so basically, you know, the Not civil rights movement hasn't happened trash. yet. Okay, can you shut up for one thinking Time is is that so hard? Now these new paper these new papers these newspapers have a special little oh, thing. I'll take a look at this. Shut up. Okay, but these have like plot storylines about Harlan and Fontaine. Let's just watch it. Doctor Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands. Chill. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot together. Yes, doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Dun, dun, dun! Okay, so basically he's the main. I'm gonna talk fast, so go, go, go. But he's the main antagonist, so uh, yeah, let's go over here and explore. Now, the reason I'm covering. We're never gonna find it. It's a waste of time. Phelps, can you take your gun out and go shoot the partner? I mean, that would be so lovely if you could. All right, but basically, I'm gonna stick to my gut on these questions and stuff. I'm sorry if you can't see it that good. The brightness isn't that best. That good. So. Ooh. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. The way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. Don't Ooh, get all there's a gun up there. Phelps. No. Okay, I'm gonna pause to talk. I'm sorry for this. But, basically. I'm a little tired right now. I don't know how good the video is going to be. But, um. 
was I? What was I even gonna say? <laughs> but basically, I have played through this game before, so to remove any spoilers that could contain in my face, um, I'm going to like get rid of my face cam during cutscenes and stuff, and just resume it. And I'm gonna try to keep it spoiler free for myself and for you guys, because I've played through the whole game before. So. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can. Actually, I can actually see the brightness right there, so I'm actually just going to turn up the brightness here all the way. So maybe you guys can see it a bit better. I'm not on sure. On the way up there. Alright, don't hurt Good. yourself. The gun's up on the roof, okay. right? So we need to find a way up. Already on it. Okay, here's the murder weapon. Imagine if it was just some random gun what that somebody just threw up here. Guys think we are. Smith and Wesson. Serial S71893. Okay, uh, further investigate. Two rounds fire. fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now. And there's our music. Kirk tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Okay, so let's head to the place that's a couple blocks from here. All right, now. It's hard for me to Are you sure decide whether or not, not really to let. Gig. No harm in doing some digging. You know what? I'm Two just gonna run. I'm just gonna run. I'm such a little boy. No. Shot. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up okay. drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my. Oops. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Um, you're darn right. Okay, but uh, let's go ahead and head over. I can't even remember what I was going to say, but I'm going to skip some rides over to the crime scenes, but some I'm going to talk. Whew, we're finally here. We suffered no casualties on either side. Right, here we go. Okay, alright. Let's go do this, Ralph. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? You're my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? I know it's all, uh, right here. Yeah, here it is. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder. Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Okay. Thanks, you've been a big help. Right, let's Anytime. Go, uh, let's go arrest Always him. happy to help out the LAPD. Can we call it in? Let's go. Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. And that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name? If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them are. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. You really are fooled. Okay. I remember he's right up here. Yep, there he is. So, Schroeder's apartment. It's 10.52 p.m. Alright, 
Let's do this, Ralph. Is there anything else? Can we call R and I? <laughs> what do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. Now, I remember there's a fight coming up, so let's do this. What the f is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Let's do this. Come on, come on, come on, boy. What you got? What you got? What you got? Woo! 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 No hits taken. Ralph, you all right? Woo. I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me. Yeah, right. Guard. Again. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. Yeah, right. Take a look around. Wait, those handcuffs aren't even fully put on, aren't they? No. Oh. Those handcuffs aren't even attached. He, he could just punch us again. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, Summers. Okay. Floyd Rose. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. Okay. Alright, so we did good on that one. Yeah, let it save. Alright, the next one is I think this next one is a gunfight, so get ready for some action. That's it. All right, let's watch this. This line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but excuse me. You say another word and I'll break your head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for. I know why you're here. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two, Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three stooges, and you're here for OCS. God help this country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your f names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identified code 3. Alright, we'll take code that. 3. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. Not 
coming up. You don't mind, Phelps. Can you drop this? Yay. I can't. I can't. No, I don't want to get. Okay, fine. Weapons on the ground. Keep cover, at least. I was trying to get it. Oh. Cover, Phelps. We don't right, have power let's go, let's go. Take it slow. Back up will be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you Not a, a chance. Chance, copper. You got any closer? We'll come. Stay in cover. Ah! Got him. How did I get that? That's it? We got him all? I think we got him, Cole. Should be all clear. Woo! Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Yes, he could. Okay, the next one, I can't remember what the next one is, actually. So, uh, do we have any war memories or anything like that? <coughs> Save. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive it first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? What about... Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps... Quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped the roll. Oh, I remember. Get after this him, case. Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Let's do this. Stop! LNPD! You can destroy yourself. Good great fat dude was running! Why you? I think you should consider... Yeah, seriously dude, I think you should consider either, either a career in soccer or a career in football. I mean, look at this guy! Bowers! Hold it right there! Or I will shoot! I won't tell I've you I've been hit in the head by this guy before. Jesus, oh, dude, dude, watch your window. fire! screwed me once. Good grief. This dude's like a ninja. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Alright, now I remember if you walk around this way, he won't. Yep, see him? Whoop. Let's do this. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Alright, well then. Come on. Ow. 
Nice job, Cole. What are you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for people like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. This will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs> I was in the Marines. Okay. The next case, I think, is buyer beware. And this is the one we actually start questioning people. This is the one where it gets really interesting. Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Rice, 8. Donahoe, 6. Kowalski, 6. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 2. Leadership, Donahoe, 8. Franklin, 7. Merrill, 6. Kowalski, 6. Rice, 5. Hudson, 5. Kelso, 1. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Look Captain, but I joined face. the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy Kelso, in my office, now! <laughs> 